This is a little review of finding the equation of the tangent line, but this time we're going to be using an exponential function. So if you remember, our slope is our derivative at that point, all right? So we need to first find our derivative of pi over 2, which will give us our slope. So let's find our derivative. And so this is our chain rule. This is e to the cosine of x times the derivative of the exponent. Let's put a t there. So that would be negative sine. So e to the negative, negative e cosine x, I'm putting it in front, sine x. Okay, now we can plug in our pi over 2, and it will give us the derivative at that point. So cosine pi over 2, sine pi over 2. And cosine of pi over 2 is 0, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we end up with negative e to the 0 times 1. So negative 1. So that is our slope of our tangent at pi over 2. So we already know the point. So if we take our slope, which is negative 1, and our point, pi over 2, comma 1, we get our equation. So this is y minus 1 equals negative 1 x minus pi over 2. And now this is a perfect equation, right? It's slope, it's a slope, point slope form. But if we solve it again, we can put it in slope-intercept form. So we end up with y equals negative x plus pi over 2 plus 1. And the reason we want to do this one is to make sure that this is the tangent. So we're going to plug this in our calculator with this and look and make sure that it is a tangent at that point. So let's move this over a bit so that we have both the equation and that, and we plug it in. So let's get rid of our old equation there. So it's second e cosine x, and again, we want to make sure our mode is in radians, which it is, perfect. Okay, and then we plug in our equation. So negative x plus pi divided by 2 plus 1. And then we're going to change our window here to just look around that point. So hit our window, and we just want between negative pi over 2, so 0 is good. And we'll do pi, and then we hit zoom 0. And then that should give us just that little part, and our tangent should come in perfectly. So you see it right there. If I hit trace pi divided by 2, you see it's blinking perfectly at our pi over 2, 1. That is our tangent. It's exactly what we're looking for. That is the equation. So we're good. The other way is to use Desmos. So I've already got them plugged into my function. So this is something you can look up on my website. This is uh, finding the graph of a function its derivative. So there's my function. There's my a value right there. And it will actually plot the tangent for you. So you just now have to match it. So y equals right uh, negative x plus pi over 2 plus 1. And you can even put this one in as well. So let's do that. Let's put y minus 1. minus 1 equals, and then our slope, negative 1, parenthesis, x minus pi divided by 2. And you can see how it overlaps it. So if I take this one off, it matches it perfectly. So I know my equation is perfect. All right. This, the next one is an implicit, so we can't use a calculator for graphing it. But we can use Desmos. Desmos will graph that function and it will graph our solution, so we can check it that way, okay? So, let's do this one. So this is implicit, so we're going to break it apart a little bit. This is times e to the y plus, just use a lot of space, y e to the x equals 1. All right, this is product rule, so I like to break them apart like that, and then we can finish from there. I don't think I need my lines to be that big, though some little ones. All right. So if you remember product rule, it's derivative of the first times the second plus derivative of the second times the first. All right. Derivative of x is 1. e to the y would be e to the y. Now here's the new thing is it's still, it's a y. So you have to put dy dx. So our y prime has to go there. You remember y prime is dy dx, where for x it would be dx dx doesn't happen anymore. So 
Anytime you take the derivative of a y, you got to end with a y prime. So derivative of y is 1, and then we have to put times y prime. And then the last one's just e to the x, and that would be 0. So let's figure out what this is derivative of y. So do our little cross, that's e to the y plus x e to the y, y prime, plus y, y prime, plus, oops, that is not correct. That would be y prime e to the x plus e to the x y. And then normally we would solve for y prime, right? But we're going to just plug the numbers in and go for there. So we're looking for y prime. y prime is our slope. This is what we want. So our x here is 0 and our y is 1. And I recommend writing them out so when you plug them in, you don't plug in the wrong number. And there's our y prime. In fact, I'm going to put it in red so we don't miss it. Okay. And then x is 0, y prime, e to the 0 times 1. And so the reason I like plugging it in first is this kind of stuff happens. So what is 0 times anything? It's 0. So we end up with e plus e to the 0 is 1. So that's y prime plus and then e to the 0 is 1 times 1 is 1. And so see, we get this nice clean equation to solve for. So y prime is negative e minus 1. And that's our slope. So our slope at that point, right? At 0, 1. So if we take our point 0, comma 1, and our slope is negative e minus 1, we get our equation. So y minus our y coordinate, and then negative e. You have to put this in parentheses as a slope x minus 0. And so we can solve this for y if we want, or we can just leave it as this. Or you can distribute it. So your choice, leave it that way, or put negative e minus 1, x plus 1. Either of these is fine. So what we need to do now is plug this in in Desmos and check our line to make sure it's correct. So I'm going to hit pause and do that now. And so there we go. There's our function. There's our line, and look at that. It's a nice, perfect tangent right at 0, 1, even lit up the number for us. So we know that's correct. And so there you have it. So you're going to find the slope, plug in the point that they give you, and that is the slope of the tangent. Use the slope of the tangent and the point just to get the equation just like before. And then here's one with implicit 